I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And the question for today is, should I call up recruiters directly to ask them to find me a job or wait for them to call me? I'm not sure what you think recruiters do, but when you're calling them up, are you paying them anything for this? Or do you expect them to find you a job? Seriously. When you say that they're out there to find you a job, you've got the equation all wrong. The equation for a recruiter, a headhunter, any professional that's in the employment business is they are there to fill jobs and get paid for their efforts. They are not there to find you a job except coincidental in that process. So in terms of waiting for them to call you, Number one is, see if you can identify people who work in your field. Seriously, don't just call recruiters up at random. See if you can find people who work in your field. Number one is, actually 1A is, see if they have any jobs open that fit your background, right? So they're not there to find the job for you. They are there to fill the job with with you or someone like you. And I say it that way because if you act like a jerk, there's someone who isn't going to act like a jerk that they're going to work with to try and fill this position because they don't want to get embarrassed in front of their client because the client is going to stop calling them if there are too many people that they refer who act stupid. So you always want to be in the position, ideally, where recruiters are contacting you because there you know clearly they have a role open. Now, you can obviously go to job ads on job boards in your local newspaper and on websites and a whole host of different places to find indiv uh, individual recruiters who have positions open that fit your background. And again, I want to be clear, that fit your background. Don't spam them with garbage. They don't have time for this. And all you're doing is being like, you know, the people in their spam inbox that are trying to sell Viagra to them or Cialis or whatever. You know, it's just a colossal waste of time. And to call them up and, and just simply say, hey, I'm looking for a job. Do you have any jobs for someone like me? Is no different than spam. Now, Again, I don't want you to be passive. That's the other side of the equation. What I want you to do is if you're in a professional field, have a quality LinkedIn profile that's keyword optimized so that this way you attract recruiters who have positions open for someone like you. You want to have your resume on a job board because that casts a pretty wide net to people who uh, um, are looking for someone like you. You want to have your resume on Indeed and, and simply hired in other sites in order to draw people to you who have open positions. And you also want to be setting up in, uh, search agents on the job boards so that they notify you of positions. You want to be out networking. Now, if you're not in a professional field, or if you're in a blue collar job or you're a recent grad, you know, networking takes a different form. You know, so, for example, if you're a recent grad, you can go onto LinkedIn, um, go across on the ribbon, look at network, and see alumni from your school uh, who may be a year or two ahead of you, and you network with them. In blue collar work, you can network with people you've worked with previously and see if they know about stuff. But just to simply call up recruiters and expect that they're going to find a job for you, you are kidding yourself. I'll also say that you need my help if you think that this is the way it works. I want to encourage you, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I have curated information that's going to help you find work. Plus, you can ask me questions that will streamline your process and make your search go faster. Plus, I answer questions from people. So, again, that's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Have a great day. Take care.